Oh my god! There's a common idea in fishing that the bigger the lure, the bigger the fish you'll attract. I've not always found that to be true, but in this video, my brother Alex and I were going to find out once and for all. Do giant baits really catch giant fish? I've had some quality pike over the years, usually on small to medium baits, but when I've picked up a large lure, I usually end up catching nothing at all. However, around the northeast coast of the USA, there's a species that loves nothing more than crushing big topwater lures, making for the kind of fishing where your heart stops on every strike. Come on, come on, eat it. Oh, 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 oh got him, got him. They're called striped bass, and I've been desperate to catch one for almost a decade. I first learned of the species watching videos made by John B, who's had a lot of success chasing down these aggressive predators. There's fish crazy in front of us. Oh my God. You could say he's become somewhat of a professional and would make an amazing guide for anyone wanting to catch one. <laughs> there they are. Nice to meet you, man. Good to see you guys again. Holy <laughs> Wow, it's, it's been, been about, a few what, years. Five years, I think. <laughs> we were heading to Cape Cod, not to catch cod, but with John's help, I hoped to finally land a striped bass of my own. It was just underneath that bridge <laughs> where I had a rather unfortunate experience <laughs> with the only striped bass that I've ever hooked. You see, this isn't actually my first time. Back in 2018, I managed to hook a striped bass, which I unfortunately oh, lost. Came off. But this time we had John on our side. There was no way we could fail. We're going fishing already. I promised we were going to take it easy, but we saw one two pound striped bass bus from three miles away, and I'm like, let's get out there. These guys are fishing addicts. Would have been too easy just to get one straight away. I thought I'd make them wait a little bit. We were heading to what would be our accommodation for the trip, an Airbnb that, yes, happened to be in close proximity to the ocean, but just as importantly, close to a few good places to eat. This place is legit. Since we were last in the US together, Alex had developed a passion for cooking and, of course, eating. Mm. <laughs> Do you guys have a good tolerance for heat? <laughs> Do you remember those black pepper crisps? <laughs> I mean, they, they're my mouth stingling. Black pepper. <laughs> I'm going to bed now. I'm super tired. I just need sleep because tomorrow morning we're going to get up early and we're going to be getting down the canal first thing in the morning. We arrived at the first spot around dawn to be told by some locals that bass had been spotted a little further down the canal. In my head last night, I kept closing my eyes and seeing mouths. Big striper mouth. Yeah, like smashing the surface. <laughs> oh, that flies out. Wow. I mean, these hooks are so big, I don't understand. Yeah. John had given me a large floating lure, which pops and splashes along the surface. These are a quality striped bass attractor, but frustratingly, the fish seem to be out of reach. We don't want to catch one too early, do we? No, no. We're building up to it, building up. Intentionally taking you guys to the slow spots first to build some anticipation. Maybe day three, I'll take you to a place where I've actually caught fish before. Oh. <laughs> I see how it is. We'll go to a different part of the canal and see if the tide is better around there. We ventured further along the canal to try our luck, but again, seemed a long way from the fish. Usually the way she blows, this place is either a location where you can have the most ridiculous non-stop striped bass action of your entire life, or it could be the Dead Sea. Today it's the Dead Sea. Not uh, not looking so good for us, but we had to try it. We might head back to the Airbnb, hook up the boat, and drop into some salt ponds, just so that way we can get some fish today. We were perhaps a little concerned that we hadn't hooked a bass yet, but I fully trusted John. Alex and I have known him since he visited the UK in 2017, when we embarked on an adventure across England so he could experience the varied fishing that our country has to offer. 
Are you, like, are you kidding me? Like, as soon as I put my waders on, like, get my rod and ready to go there, it just starts raining. This is what, this is, this happens all the time. From small rivers to large lakes, we caught fish from almost everywhere and formed a cross-continental friendship centered around a love for water and the creatures that live within it. The following year, he returned the favor by showing us the delights of fishing in the USA. We caught species that were completely new to us and some giant bass, but sadly, no striped ones. That was mine, that was cool. <laughs> Sandbars, well, I'm pretty sure we hooked a white by accident. That's crazy. There it is, the striped bass. Here's the one I caught earlier. <laughs> Player two, reveal your weapon. <laughs> the reason why I quit. <laughs> I'll quit again if you're not good. You can't quit again, right? right. We don't need. We don't need anything really. We're just here for a good time, right? We can go to the fishmonger. Buy a fish. We could just go to a fish and chip shop back in England. I promised Alex that providing I could catch a striped bass, he could take it home and cook up a traditional English fish and chips right. for John and his cameraman oh. Caleb. It was a win-win really because Alex has become a fine chef, but first we actually needed to catch one. We're gonna go explore uh, some shallow water, see if we can just get something started. This time of the year, you can pretty much always count on some of these saltwater ponds that are adjacent to uh, either Buzzards Bay or Cape Cod Bay to have some striper. Do you know why bananas, actually they say you shouldn't bring bananas on boats? It's because of bugs, right? It's because, um, oh, I've forgotten. <laughs> it, is, it is a proper reason. very careful with striped bass with troubles in their mouth. You'll get the hang of it, but the first couple, I'll just kind of show you how to wrangle them. All right, what we're doing now, bar the huge top water. Kind of how we're doing um, bass fishing in England. We kept on the move, as John said there was no point staying too long in one location, and that we'd know for sure when we eventually found them. Oh, there we go, little, but. Yeah, oh, those might not be that small. Something to put in the frying pan. Alex is thinking with his belly. Sorry, all I can think of is food. Oh, right there. Hello. Oh, oh he brought, he's going right into it. So those Albies? They were swimming fast. They might be Albies. Right, oh, yeah, Um, it looks like a bluefin tuna, but tiny. We'd stumbled upon a species known as false albacore, a fish that inhabits the same waters as striped bass. And since we hadn't found any of them yet, it was an opportunity for our first bit of action. Cast right in the zone with this little thing and just keep your rod tip low and just reel. And it'll, they'll just take it like so hard. Oh shoot! Right there, right there, reel, reel. Keep it a little slower, a little slower, a little slower. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, there, there, right there. The Albies were fast in the water and we had to repeatedly recast to try and keep a lure in front of the shoal. But even so, they just seemed to dart from one zone to the next and we just couldn't keep up. To stand any chance of catching one, we needed to work as a team. John chasing with the boat, whilst I focused on getting a cast in the right spot. Get ready. See them right there? Right under the bird, cast. Oh, they're going. Hang on, hang on, hang on. They're going, we're gonna chase them down again. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh yeah, yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on. Get it on that time. Surely. Oh my god. Oh, right oh, there. Oh, there they are. There they are. Big time. There they are, man. Oh, they're feeding right under me. I'm right on them. I'm right on them. Right Go on, on John. Them. Come on. Oh, I thought you were going to have one then. It's just like stalking carp, John. It's exactly like it. Only I've forgotten all the bread. <laughs> That's why we can't catch. <laughs> we decided to move on. Besides, it was the striped bass that we were really here for. Oh, fair play. Oh, there we go. Look, there's not there's Oh, there, there is. Just cast out where I just was at. Finally, we've got our first fish of the day. It took many hours, but we've stumbled upon some schoolies. Very nice little fish. Oh, he's not small. He's all right. It's a good fish, but we want bigger. Oh, and he's off. Quick release, we'll get another one. 
Let's go. Let's go, man. What? Awesome. That was really cool. Oh, oh keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh my goodness. Keep it going. He's still on it, isn't he? Oh, I can. Give this one a shot. I'll give it a go. Same, same cadence and everything. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, nice one. Keep it on. Keep it on. <laughs> it just blew off on it. Woo! <laughs> Good job. I'll land him for you. Yeah, there we go, man. First ever striper of the trip. <laughs> it only took a few years, but I got, <laughs> got my first one. No worries. We saw some bigger ones too, so hopefully they'll start feeding. Oh, there was fish down there that was four, four times, times, five times bigger than that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Five. <laughs> oh, oh. That'll get your heart pumping. That did. That was amazing. <laughs> that was everything I wanted it to be, apart from maybe next time a big one. <laughs> and they're definitely here, so let's keep going. Let's go again. He's fucking pretty good. Striped bass are one of those fish that you can catch them just about any which way. Bottom fish for them, you can throw big jerk baits, big swim baits, spoons. But the particular manner in which we are catching these fish today is we're going really shallow into these back bays that are adjacent to the Atlantic Ocean. And these fish are using these shallow water areas to corral bait. And that's why we're using a variety of large topwater and small topwater lures. This is the, uh, this is the bait I just caught my fish on. It's a nine inch dock. And uh, it's, it's a lure that is capable of, in my opinion, mesmerizing the fish. I think sometimes they're chasing it because they think it's actual food, but other times you're just putting that fish in a trance. And eventually that fish will use its mouth as a, as a curiosity vessel to grab onto those, onto that bait, onto those hooks. You gotta fish on, you gotta fish on, you keep working, keep working, you gotta fish on. Oh, I do. Big one, too. Oh my God, what just happened? Oh, oh, oh. wow! Ooh. That's a good one. Man. Oh, it's big! It's oh, big. big, John, John, it's big. It's big. I know, it's big, I know, big, I know. It's a big oh. fish. It's a big fish. That is a really good John. 30 inch for John. sure. John. This is the fish I came for, pretty much. What? <laughs> Bro! Don't let him kick your ass, you got this. <laughs> Mate, that was such a good blow up. And I was just about to reel in. I'm gonna grab him. Bring him right here. This is the scary bit. Yeah! <laughs> wow, he's big! That was a good fish, man. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, look at oh, that. Right. That is exactly what we came for. John said there was a fish following. I didn't even see the fish, and then out of nowhere, boom! It exploded, and that was on the end. 34 inches. Wow. 34 inch straight bass, yeah. man. Whilst I was overjoyed, Alex wasn't so impressed, as for conservational purposes, only fish between 28 and 31 inches can be taken home to eat in this area. That will do. Although it literally wouldn't. Alex was still without his fish and getting hungrier by the second. All I've eaten today is some Oreos and I'm really hungry now. And, I, and the reason I really wanted to come fishing over here is so that we could eat some of these striped bass. I heard they're pretty good tasting fish and I hope these guys can catch just one. It, it doesn't just have to be a fish, it has to be the right size. So I'm really hoping these guys pull out a fish for me to cook tonight. That's awesome. Oh! <laughs> Unbelievable. The bites kept on coming, but everyone seemed just a little too big or too small to take home for tea. This kid's an animal. I've caught zero today. Zero. He's got a 34 incher and four. Oh! Subscribe for guy. Literally, one moment you're not getting a single bite, and the next is kicking off. Oh. This guy from England is just kicking my ass. On. Came undone. Counts. It was. It was small. Yeah. Small. Just let that one go. Oh my God! Big one. That's a nice one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Wow, that's a nice one. Whew, finally. I feel what it's like to catch a striped bass. Thank you for letting me catch this fish, by the way, Carl. Ooh, it's a 7-Eleven rod. This thing is beating me up. You can come on my boat when you do that. <laughs> oh, well, if I'm going to catch one fish today, this is definitely the one to catch. There she goes. That is salty. <clears throat> Oh, 
Just keep it going, keep it going. <laughs> Just keep it going. My love flew out of the wall. Keep it going, he's still on you. He's still on you. Oh! <laughs> Just enjoy watching Carl catch fish. <laughs> Mate, I wasn't ready. This fish was good for a couple of reasons. It was not only my seventh of the day, but also might be a fish that Alex can cook up for us. I think it's a slot fish. We'll take a look. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Yeah. Good job, man. Oh. oh no, it's 28. This guy is going to turn into a traditional English fish and chips. Well, the fish bit, not, not the chips. The fishing was better than I could have ever hoped for. But before going home to cook up our catch, there was one last spot we had to check out. Doesn't it feel exactly like England again? It does. It's a little it English like corner a village, shop. Village shop, doesn't mm. it? Whilst there's a part of me that misses my brother also being obsessed by fishing, the fact that he's found so many other interests since and become skilled at them genuinely inspires me to step out my comfort zone and try new things. What happened to your finger? Cut the end of it off. <laughs> I won't always be following Alex's example, but I have recently launched a whole new channel to document a more personal side of my life. It's very originally called More Fish With Carl, and I'd love to see you over there soon. You cut one finger off and then you deep fry the other finger. Yeah. Nice. That's like the best fish and chips I've ever had, oh, yeah. period, in my entire life. That was a really good day, full of food, had a great day's fishing and some, yeah, with some great company. Thanks for watching the video. <laughs> I'll see you guys again soon.